engine. It is a 1.8 liter Atkinson cycle. You guys are familiar with this. But we did re-engineer this slightly and made it a little more efficient. You can see here that it has a better exhaust gas recirculation system, which ultimately means we're going to have better thermal efficiency. Previously, the thermal efficiency of the engine was 38%, and now it's 40%. And that really just means we're converting that energy more into the motion of the vehicle and getting it moving versus losing that energy to heat losses. The hydrogen's axle also has been made more efficient. It's smaller, it's lighter. And what we've done is versus having all of the um, hybrid synergy drive components in a coaxial form, basically all in line together, now we have moved MG2 out of that row and we've moved it to the back. So here we have planetary gear set, then you're gonna have MG1. Normally, MG2 would be right in line with everything else, but it's kind of been moved up a little bit. It has its own output shaft. Having that separate output shaft also reduces our energy loss to just heat and heat resistance in the air. All right. Oh, also the auxiliary battery, we were able to move that from the rear of the vehicle because now the components are smaller under the hood, but the auxiliary battery has been moved from the rear and is now under the hood. Let's talk a little bit about the power control unit also known as our inverter. It's also more efficient, it's lighter and smaller than previously. Again, we're gonna have less loss to electrical resistance because the PCU is now directly connected to the engine. So that means that that high voltage connection, again, we're not going to lose as much energy to heat losses. And as I mentioned, it's lighter and smaller. Common theme here. Talking a little bit about the hybrid battery, previously it was located behind the rear seats. We've moved it under the rear seats, so that's going to give us a little bit more cargo capacity. And I mentioned that we're going to have two battery options, so let's talk a little bit about the nickel metal hydride battery and the lithium ion battery. Nickel metal hydride battery will only be in the Prius 2. We've made it wider and it's smaller than the previous one. It's lighter by 2.5% than the previous nickel metal hydride battery, and it's smaller at 38.7%. The new lithium ion battery is also smaller than the previous generation nickel metal hydride battery that we use. It's 40% lighter and 38% smaller. Oh, let me backtrack team, that nickel metal hydride battery is only 13% smaller than the previous nickel metal hydride battery. The lithium ion battery is going to only be on all, of, not only be, it will be on every model except for the Prius 2. So Prius 2 Eco, 3, and moving up will all have a lithium ion battery. Talk a little bit about the suspension. I think you guys are going to love this. McPherson strut, we have always used this in the Prius, but we did change the um, um, torsion. What am I saying here? Not torsion team. The shock absorber in inclination has been angled in slightly. That basically just means we're getting better control of the suspension components for better handling, better tuning of our suspension system. This is what I'm really excited about. Currently, we were using a torsion beam for the suspension in the rear. And this is a great suspension to have because it's light, it's compact but it's semi-independent, which means if you have a lot of rope shock on one side of the wheel of the axle, it's going to also transfer to the other wheel as well. So now with the double wishbone rear suspension, we're able to reduce that perceived shock by one third because it's a fully independent system. And again, you're going to have better handling and better ride quality of this vehicle. Just another view of the rear suspension. I want to point out that that lower arm there is going to help the suspension system not kind of move around when you're driving. So again, better handling, better driving. And then the stabilizer bar is going to keep you flat in those turns. 